Hi, Hi everybody, everybody, and welcome to Mr. 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 Obviously, with this question here, what I need to do is simply use our power law. Um, so the, the next is thing, obviously, and then that will become equal to 10, because so 10 is on both sides. So you're going to take one. get rid of those things. So, so in, in terms of this, I can write this side over here as simply as being S. 20 becomes equal to 10 to the X. No, next next minus example, 10 3. So this is where you're going to calculate that. I'm just going to do the simple calculation. So I'm going to just do E. Or I could have used the dividing other rule, which is E. We're taking the rounds with dividing. So it probably would have been easier to do this. So it's 2.73 times 10 to the X. Go back to there. All right, so that's that first question. Looking at doing this next again, using the other rule, which is the same process. Now, it doesn't really matter what they are right, but it's approximately equal to in the 10 to the 0 so point now right here. Yeah, and we can take a shortcut, so you can say that's equal to. So we're using our um, indice law again, because we're taking those two things, it's going to be approximately equal to log of the 10 to the 0 point 3 0 0.5. That's going to be if log is equal to 10 to the 1 log. So therefore, I could write D, approximately equal to log of. B ten divided by so nine therefore by ten we can state because those two zero point the same. three so so there the same x one x calculator using if we go to a calculator and you go ten point in the power of that's it point point three point three so so good luck with those questions we'll see what that works out to catch up with me about one point nine if you didn't help so thank you you could say if you really wanted to simplify that D is approximately equal to 7.10 times like 2 four. to the power of x. Well, right, thank you for this really and I'll catch you shortly. So I'll just go down to if you've got any questions about these so questions, got, make sure uh, you can me this one over here. Yes, me. One thank extra you. step that's required, so all I'd need to do is write that as 2 to the point 0.25t. And then I'll simply divide that 200 across the other side. So therefore, 600 divided by 200 will give me 3. And now I can simply go point, um, 0.25. I'll just get rid of that. So I can say, um, or we'll just do it the long way. Log of 2 to the point 0.25t equals log of 3. And so therefore, I can really uh, simply organise that as 0.25t is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2, because that's going to come down. So therefore, t is going to be equal to log of 3 all over 0.25 times log of 2. So going to the count, you have to be really careful here. So we're going to have log of 3. No, oh, made a mistake. So go log of 3 divided. Now, if you're going to think two things on the bottom line, you must put a bracket around that. So it's 0.25 times uh, log of 2. And then you can close your bracket. And then that will work that out for you. So that's 6.3. 399. Nine. I think we've got to go to four significant figures there. So 6.3399 is my answer. Hope that helps. Uh, have a go at those in, in, in uh, class and uh, catch up with me if you need some help. Bye for now.